Joining us now from Atlantic City is the executive director of the League of Municipalities, Bill Dressel. Bill, we welcome you back to the program. What a difference a year can make. Last year, the first time in league history that you had to cancel. What did that one year lag mean for this year? Well, I think it uh, rejuvenated uh, the, the municipal spirit to attend this year's conference, uh, Michael, because we, uh, we're breaking all kinds of records in attendance, and uh, we're very satisfied with the fact that all of our meeting rooms were, were packed full of, of delegates uh, wanting to learn more information on how to govern. Well, Sandy may be a thing of the past, but it's still, in terms of governing, uh, very much a part of the future and the present, it seems, as well. Uh, what, what Sandy kind of uh, afterglow, what Sandy kind of lingering damage assessment uh, are you picking up? What kind of vibes about Sandy still pervade the rooms there? There's a lot of hurt still out there, Michael. And uh, the, the theme of our conference was the, you know, to navigate the, uh, the recovery uh, from the Hurricane Sandy, and a lot of our sessions were directed uh, to local government officials on how they can help their citizens fully recover. Yes, there were lots of positive steps were taken. A lot more has to be done. But what we did is coalesce the, all of the uh, 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 resources or assets together uh, from the federal government, the state government, and the local government. To, to make sure that that recovery continues. This one year out, you know, we've heard so much talk about how happy people were about the way government responded, especially the state government, in the immediate aftermath and short term thereafter. One year out, though, Bill, what kind of vibes are you picking up? Uh, because we have heard from time to time that there's a level of consternation that's growing as well and some frustrations. Well, what I'm hearing is that local officials still have a helping hand out to those that that are, are still hurting from Hurricane Sandy, and they're trying to help them. Yes, uh, are there frustration because you know it, it has had been, it has been, had a uh, uh, a quilt patch impact. Some municipalities are doing better than others, but I think this administration, the Christie administration, is working to try to identify that need and move forward. And I know that even this coming week, we're having another FEMA session at the State House in Trenton trying to direct more grants and funding. So I don't think that anybody, you know, is, is, has become complacent. I believe that everybody's become you know, more actively involved to make sure that the recovery continues and is fulfilled in an expedited fashion. Uh, obviously, when it comes to big issues in the state, most taxpayers would say it's taxes. What about the tax issue in, in the municipalities, the cap on, on various taxes uh, when it comes to real estate? What, what are we hearing about taxes? Well, we're, we're hearing that, uh, you know, legislative leaders spoke today, as, as, as your uh, program shows, and that they're, they've got various ideas on how to uh, tackle the uh, t uh, tax issue, which is still, you know, plaguing our communities, as you noted. But uh, we've got to work together. We have to forge a partnership with the legislative leaders uh, beginning the new legislative session in January, and we have to work together on that. You know, I don't think that right now anybody has really identified the magic bullet or elixir that's going to solve the problem, but we clearly have a problem, and we have to work together to solve it. You've been going to these things for, what is it, Bill? I don't mean to date you, but about, what, 40, 40 years, is it? This is my 40th year, Michael. Well, yes, we, sir. We'll congratulate you on that. What's the biggest difference? I'll tell you the truth. The issues, property tax, uh, property taxes, uh, affordable housing, health care, pensions, the issues uh, almost remain the same. I guess that's a sad commentary on me as being, being involved with the league all those <laughs> years. But it, there's different nuances to it. But still, there is that, you know, that tensions between the state government and the local government on, on how we fix these issues. But what I am seeing for the first time is a greater cooperation. And the fact that we got a record attendance here and everybody packed these sessions, I see that everybody wants to get down to governing their communities, doing that which is in the best interest of their taxpayers. And I think that message got through today to the legislative leaders. And I'm optimistic. I'm quite optimistic. Bill Dressel, on that optimistic note, we will leave it there. Always a pleasure to have you on the program, sir. Thank you very much.